Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. Today we're going to talk about exception handling. And it's going to be broken up into two parts. And this part, I'm going to explain the difference between throws and throw. Um, the diff let's start off with throws. A lot of people you've probably noticed in their test examples, they say throw exception. Now, <clears throat> this actually does not necessarily need to be here because when you put a throws exception in a method you're telling um, when you're when you're you're telling the compiler that this method will be throwing a exception now that's actually ne necessarily true because none of my methods here inside this method or anything here actually explicitly throws an exception of any kind so this actually is not necessarily needed uh, it's a people put it in, uh, and I'm guessing they put it in because when you start writing out your tests and you put throws exception, you it will always compile properly because you'll probably throw in something like, for example, if I say throws exception, and I put in a you know thread dot sleep. Usually, this will yell at you saying, "Hey, I throw an exception." Um, an interrupt exception. However, I've already put the throws exception here, so it won't yell at you. So that is the reason um, I see throws is placed up here. I don't do that personally. I don't. I don't care to. I like to actually see what it is at, um, throwing. Um, an example of this, uh, I will show you right now. If I say load page, and he throws. He throws a no such element exception. That's not going to be necessarily true, but later in this method, I use load page. Throws. Yeah, why are you? Oops. And it's letting me use it, and I don't know why. It should be yelling at me. Uh, what? Um, no. Okay, <clears throat> so if I said that this throws, let's say, an I.O. exception, we're just putting that out there, and I went to another another method, I'm saying, oh, this also runs load page. Well, now it's yelling at me saying, hey, guy, this throws an I.O. exception, so do something about it. Um, and that's why this is put into methods is it's actually saying that this guy will throw an exception of some kind so um, I don't put these in my tests at all um, so I recommend maybe not having to it's up to you it's totally a preference but that just is I'm just showing you what throws so if this was a throws IO exception and let's say you know if um, if false, if false, um, then and then else throws no, throw IO exception. Now this is telling everybody, hey, load page will throw this IO exception. You can see right here it's doing so. Um, it's explicitly going to be throwing one. Um, and that brings us to throw. 
This is the act of actually making the exception occur or running the exception itself. So this is telling the world um, in your frame, everybody, hey, I throw this. And throw is the actually throwing the exception itself. So that's that's kind of the, the example of, of throws and throw. Um, it It's kind of one is stating what it will throw, and throw is the act of actually executing it. Um, so that's just kind of the the rundown of throws and throw. Um, you don't really have to necessarily um, put it up here, um, the throws exception. Like I stated before, you can. It's it's not, um, but it's not at needed because if if it comes down to it, someone will tell you, hey, you need to put it here. You need to put throws X Y Z. Uh, so that's kind of the throws and throws. Um, our next one, my next video, I'll be talking about try, catch, and finally. So stay tuned for that. Until then, this is QA Auto Man signing off.